Did I copy ready on control line? Yeah, ready on control line. Stop it. Okay, we're low. We're going down on the hall. That's right. Okay. We're going to haul on our end. Getting close to the water on there. You guys stop on your end. Say stop, stop, stop over the radio. Copy. You guys are going to go higher as he goes out, correct? Correct. Where is that? Two feet off the deck. Resetting, then we're going to go up on the back line. Stop. All in on north. Getting close to the water. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, up on track line. Okay, you're five feet off the water. Okay, all on control line. Objection, let out your MCD. You guys got to go higher on that track line. I'm letting him out and it's just dropping him into the water. Copy. Up on track. Should be good there. Okay, we're going up on track over there. Hey, what's our load cell reading? Load cell 550. Nice. We're resetting. They're just going to keep all in. All in. Good. 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 Load cell 550. I uh, can't tell what can or anything that is, but. We can probably flatten that out even more. We can go all the way up to 900 uh, pretty easily. So, eh, we could have done better on the festoons on the far side. Uh, but I'm just nitpicking at this point. And we probably could have shortened the bridle up a little bit. That would have helped save us maybe a foot of clearance if we wanted to as well. Okay, now that the evolution's over, let's go check out our anchors. Uh, we are good if you just take pictures. Single carriage pulley. Uh, just the classic okay. bypass on the litter carriage. Nothing special there. Festoons are, are 20 to, to 30 feet out, at least on the upper side. Let's hauling. take a look at our track line. Blue and red are our track lines. In order to get a favorable angle, uh, we just improvised and vectored it uh, back to that tree. And then we piggyback to make sure that our yellow upper control line was also following the same path as our track lines. We opted not to do any vortex high directionals, although I would have liked to do that. Um, ideally, um, on these rescue centers, I would like to see both of these on the same plane, um, but that's okay. What we have here is a terminal, terminal knot on this, on the backside, going through two to one, going through a change of direction or differential at the anchor, going back up to the second two to one, so these are equalized. And then here, this was when we applied full tension. So we did a three to one onto this two to one, making it a six to one on this line and a six to one on this line. And uh, we should have tied off the red and blue track lines to an anchor, preferably something that has a limited slip or uh, force limiters, ideally on a ID, but we'll see what happens when we get back here. So. You can still see our line. This is our tensioning system, two to one. We'll load out the differential. What was our max load cell readout? 550. 550 max uh, load cell readout. I gotta do the calculation, see what Dougie weighs. And we do have our track lines backed up into the IDs, which is awesome. That provides us the ability to release under tension. And we're good.